Hey there, it's Steve King for CanadianBodybuildingRadio.com. I'm here with uh, IFBB Pro Troy Brown. Um, it's just after the Nationals, uh, 2009 Canadian Nationals. And uh, Troy, it was your first uh, time out here for the Nationals. Uh, what do you think? What was your first impressions? Oh, it was a great show. Um, awesome physiques. Um, the top three competitors in all the divisions, all the weight classes were very high calibre. Um, you know, there was some... Uh, hard decisions for the judges I wouldn't want to be a judge for that show because there was some real real good physiques there competing and uh, my first Canadians and it was a great show and um, hopefully we'll also be there for next year but there was um, some some uh, good calls and um, especially the, um, you know a lot, a lot of the weight classes there were some hard decisions and I thought the judges got it bang on really so it was a good show and um, all on for next year. Yeah, and a big congrats to all the competitors out there. Uh, you know, placing top three or top five at nationals is uh, certainly no joke. I mean, this is the best of the best uh, in the country. So, uh, so let's break it down. Uh, I guess the story of the night is uh, big Mike Van Wick from Ontario uh, coming in his first uh, first ever nationals and uh, taking home the overall. Your thoughts? Yeah, Mike looked great. Um, big guy, man. Um, I actually saw him. Um, I think I saw him in his tracksuit um, about two hours before the show and. Uh, looked like a freak and um you know congrats to him he looked fantastic and uh you know well deserved win for him um, i thought it was very close between him and ron um i thought ron took him on a few shots and and then mike took ron on a few shots so um i actually thought it could have gone either way but um well deserved victory and he's uh, welcome mike to the pro ranks he's uh, he's going to do very well as a pro yeah, I don't think there's much that he really has to do to uh, fine-tune his physique to fit in there at the pros. And uh, I just kind of heard word this, uh, this morning uh, that he won by one point. So four judges had Mike in first and three judges had, uh, had Ron in first. So again, uh, Ron plays the bridesmaid and, uh, and never the bride. Um, but we all both know Ron pretty good and he'll yeah. bounce back as usual. And uh, I believe he's off to the North Americans next weekend. So uh, good luck to him. And uh, also another story is uh, only three guys showing up for that class this year. Yeah, I was surprised. I mean, Super Heavy is normally a big class with a lot of competitors, and I was really surprised there was only three guys competing. So, uh, yeah, um, I don't know where everyone was this year. <laughs> yeah, I think they were flip-flopping this year between 220 and 225 as to where the cutoff was going to be. So I think two or three guys fell in between 220 and 225, so they ended up in, uh, in uh, heavyweight. Uh, heavyweight class, uh, another good battle there. Uh, Mark Richmond edging out uh, big Leon Eastman. What do you think of that class? Yeah, a big class, a lot of competitors, some big, big guys in that class. Um, again, um, I thought well-deserved victory for Mark. Richmond looked fantastic. Um, I thought Leon, big guy, amazing muscularity, um, a little bit more condition, could have maybe took, you know, took his class, and who knows, the overall um, one to watch out for the future if he gets his conditioning right. Yeah, I don't think you could fit uh, too much more uh, muscle on Big Leon there. He uh, he was chock full. Um, who else we got there? Antoine Vallette, um, big name coming into the show, only 22 years old. Um, plays fourth. Um, my thoughts on that are, you know, he's got a really great physique, uh, nice symmetry. He's not really missing anything, just some overall size. I think he really needs to come in uh, as a super heavy uh, to win the pro card. But, I mean, 22 years old, still lots of time to grow. Oh, yeah, a lot of time to grow. 22, man. It's like, wow, unbelievable. And uh, great wheels, world-class wheels, actually. Reminds me very similar to uh, James Flex Lewis. Uh, very similar physique, big in the legs. And uh, if he brings up a body up, wow, one to watch for the future. Um, you're probably looking at an overall champion, a knife, Ruby Pro, for sure. Right, right. Um, let's move to the uh, light heavyweights. Uh, Martin Allard um, pulling off the win there. Um, top three, Martin Allard, Larry Vanette, and Craig Bonnet um, from Manitoba. Uh, what do you think of Martin Allard? I just thought that his shoulders, he was the real yeah. wide guy. I don't think I've ever seen a light heavyweight that wide. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I, I remember sitting down with my fiance Megan, and we actually thought he looked very similar to Jay Cutler from the front. Um, big, big shoulders, you know, small waist. Um, when he hit his abs and thigh, he looked very, very similar to Jay, and uh, got a good look. You know, uh, again, brings his wheels up a bit more. You know, he, he, again, future a future eye would be pro for sure. And uh, yeah, he's got a big future in the sport if he if he keeps improving his body parts. Yeah, certainly a guy to watch out for. Um, another huge story of the night in the men's uh, middleweight class uh, from Alberta, Rob Bell Isle, um, pulled off a huge win there. Um, his conditioning was just crazy. Yeah, um, I mean, I've seen a lot of shows and, you know, been in the pro ranks and uh, I've never seen an athlete as conditioned as Rob was. Um, just fantastic dryness and his glutes were just absolutely insane. Um, fantastic bodybuilder, great back, you know, um, just 
what can you say? His conditioning was just second to none. Um, <laughs> frightening, frightening. Yeah, it just seemed the longer he stood out there on stage, the tighter he got, and your eyes were kind of just more and more drawn to him. Uh, not to be done by too much was uh, Patrick, uh, Patrick Brewer. Patrick, I don't remember with Patrick. Yeah, he got second. Uh, he was with uh, Chris, I think he did his diet with Chris Cito this year. He's from Quebec. Oh, I remember him, yeah. Again, great physique, um, nice balance, good symmetry. Um, but you're going up against a freak like Rob, you know, who's just so conditioned. You know, the judges just, uh, that, all their eyes were judged going towards Rob. So it, it was, it was, it was hard, hard for, um, you know, the guy who, who got second. Uh, um, he just went up against a freak like Rob. Rob was just fantastic on the day and, you know, just got it bang on. Yeah, I don't think you could ask for any uh, any better conditioning than that. And uh, Rob also won the overalls in the Masters and uh, here in his pro card. Um, so two pro cards at the show this year, uh, one for the Masters, one for the men's, o- men's overall. And there's kind of a lot of rumblings about, you know, why there was only one pro card this year. Um, I certainly thought uh, Mark Richmond um, could have... Yeah. Capitalized and uh, deserved maybe the yeah. the other pro card there. Would you think? Totally. Uh, I thought Mark deserved the pro card. I mean, you know, you actually could have probably given a pro card to most of the, uh, you know, the, the class winners actually. And um, it's, it's good because you know Mark, you know, he's 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 not getting any any younger. And um, you know, I I think he could do very very well in the two hundred two class. And a uh, great condition, very very dry. Just give him his card. You know, I thought the judges should have given maybe a third, and possibly a full pro card. Yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on too. I know we chatted after the show, and uh, I think Mark is about 35 years old, and you know he's come back to the Nationals uh, the last few years, and he's shown great improvements every time. I mean, you know, why not say you know let him off his leash and you know let's see what you can do in the pro ranks? But uh, unfortunately, uh, that's the way it is. That's the way the judges wanted it, and um, you know Mark's got to come back and uh, try again next year. Um, the women's class, I actually didn't get to see uh, too much of this. I was uh, backstage there. Um, let's start off with the overalls. Lara Chappelle, who took uh, first in the uh, heavyweight and then the overall. What did you think of the heavyweight class? Uh, Lara, um, again, very, very symmetrical. Uh, very pleasing look. You know, great look as well. You know, um, very, very hard to, um, to, to judge that class because I thought Jody and um, Zoa and um, Laris, nothing in between them. It was very, very hard um, to pick a, pick a winner there. And either, one, either three could have got the nod um, for that class for sure. But obviously once the overall was you know, all said and done, I thought Laris deserved it 100%. Yeah, kind of th- uh, a couple different physiques up there in the top three with uh, Zoe and Jody uh, having that mass and Lyris being uh, a little lighter but having a kind of complete overall package, polished look. Um, I guess that's just what the judges are going for this year and, uh, you know, that's the way it rolls. Um, who else we got here? What do you think of Dennis James? Dennis, oh, what can I say about DJ? Um, great guy, you know, um, you know, he's got a great energy. Um, a freak, very wide, <laughs> big guy, big legs. Um, he lo- looks as though he streamlined his physique as well. I think, obviously, I think he took a year off uh, a few uh, last year. So, yeah, much improved physique. Um, I think he's a little bit smaller now. I think he used to come in around about a 265 range. And I think he told me he's around about a 250 range. So I think that definitely suits his physique. But a great character, a uh, great ambassador for the sport. And a really, really nice guy. And I hope he does work at Olympia. I hope, who knows, maybe a, you know, a top six, maybe a top ten finish for, for DJ this year. And he's going to get some high, high caliber class in the uh, Olympia, such as you know, Phil Heath and um, to name a few, Jay and, and, uh, and Dexter. So it's going to be hard for DJ, but you know, he's got another, what, five weeks to, to, to get a little bit tighter. And uh, he should do pretty well at Olympia. Yeah, I thought he came in for the guest posing in pretty good conditioning. Uh, you don't want to show up at Nationals uh, too fat and out of shape because all the other guys are not far behind you and yeah. make you look bad. So uh, I guess that'll wrap up our post-show interview with uh, IFBB Troy Brown. And uh, Troy, are you going to make the trip to Saskatoon next year? It's only a five-hour drive from here. So Oh, well, yeah. I mean, uh, Megan and I drove all the way to um, BC, so it was, it was like a 40-hour trip. And uh, I'm still feeling the, uh, the energy effects now. Um, I've just been sleeping before I got here. So, uh, yeah, I'll definitely be there next year. And um, looking out for uh, Jordan, I think Jordan, I can't remember his surname, who won Provincials um, in June. I think he's going to do very well. Jordan Janme. That's right. Yeah, he's going to do very well and one to look out for uh, next year at uh, Nationals. So, yeah. Yeah, it's shaping up to be a, a really uh, good show next year. We'll, we'll see if we get uh, maybe Leon Eastman to come back, Mark Richmond, and I guess uh, we know Brown will be there as usual. And, uh, yeah, it should be a great show. And that about wraps it up for the post-show interview for the 2009 Canadian Nationals this year. IFBB Pro, Troy Brown, thanks a lot. And Steve King for CanadianBodybuildingRadio.com.